Hello everyone and welcome to another Make It Monday. I'm Sarah with Beyond Fabric and we are here to do another video for you. Today we are not going to actually make something per se other than a mess which I promise we're going to clean it up and we're going to make our machine very happy. Today we're going to show you how to clean your machine which you need to be doing regularly especially after every major project. Uh, at least I would say once a month is good unless you so a lot and then probably every other week you need to be getting those dust bunnies out of your machine. Um, so let's get started on making our machine happy. Okay, as we were saying, maintaining your sewing machine is very important and it should be done on a regular basis. Now, in preparation of this video, I've kind of let my maintenance slide a little bit longer than I probably should, so we're going to find lots of dust bunnies in my machine just to prepare you. All right, so this is my machine. Um, you, Everybody's machine is going to be a little different, but there will be the same basic steps that you will follow for every machine. You also want to make sure to consult your manual to make sure you don't do anything you're not supposed to do. Uh, oiling um, is one of those especially. You want to check your manual. It should tell you the points on where your machine needs to be oiled. Usually it's the main points where you have a lot of uh, moving parts because those need to be lubricated. But again, consult your manual. So we're just going to do the basics of what every machine should have done. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your machine is unplugged. Please do not do this with it plugged in because something's going to happen. All right, the next thing we're going to do is unthread everything. So when you unthread or changing your thread out, remember, cut it and pull it through from the bottom because if you're pulling it up, you're getting all kinds of lint and stuff trapped up in there, which we may find when we open it up. We'll see. All right, the next we're going to take our bobbin out. So we're going to put this over to the side. All right, now tools that you will need for doing this. I'm going to go ahead and change my needle while we do this. Just go ahead and give it a complete overhaul. We need a little lint brush. I sell these at the shop. They're like $3.19, I believe. You can find them on the website as well great little angled lint brush. You can also use pipe cleaners to clean. I also have a little container. Ugh. Okay, now it's open. Of Q-tips if we need to get up in there. And we have oil with a little spouty, long spouty thing so we can get to the right spot that we need to oil our machine. We have, usually with your machine, it'll come with something that looks like this. And this is to get the screws loose, or you may have a small screwdriver whichever, doesn't matter, but you need something to have a screw loose. All right, so let's go ahead and loosen those screws on our plate. Do not lose these screws, please. Okay, so we're gonna take and put that right there. That one was a little tight. May even have several different size screwdrivers in this process. I'm going to use this one. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Okay, our needle is all the way up. We're going to take this off. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, so embarrassing. I warned you. All right, so we've removed our plate. We're also going to go ahead and take our foot off because I'm going to clean that bar nice and good too. My needle bar and my foot bar. Get them all cleaned up. So we're going to put our foot over to the side. Oh, goodness gracious. Where do we begin? All right, so we're going to take our lint brush. I also have a cloth over to the side. That way I can wipe it on there. You can use compressed air to blow this out. However, make sure you get moisture free. We do not want to put moisture in our machine. All right, look at this. We're getting a nice, oh, look at all those dust bunnies. Woo, woo. 
mercy. Oh, don't lose your screws. My mama's probably rolling her eyes right now. Sarah Elizabeth, how did you let your machine get this dirty? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take where our bobbin is held. Again, you may have a one that goes underneath. You wanna take that out and clean it all too, and that's where you're gonna oil uh, one of the spots. Um, if you have one that sits on top, you're gonna just pop it up, and it has a little arrow so you know where to put it back. So we're gonna put that over whew, to the side. Wow, okay, here we go. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You'll have to post pictures of how bad your machine is when you do this. I wanna see them. Mine cannot be the only one. could take this all the way apart but you don't again unless you're really experienced with your machine you don't want to go too far that's why we have great people that service machines but this right here is cosmetic stuff that needs to be done every month at least if you're sewing a lot every two weeks mercy mercy Oh, there, I see a big one. All right, now take your pipe cleaner and in between your feet, and you may even have to get something a little bit smaller, you're gonna have, there we go. Like, it's matted in pretty good. Here we go, look at this. In between your feed dogs, all the lint from your fabric and thread is just gonna compress. So clean out those feed dogs. Okay, I've got the bulk of it, so now I can just, there we go. this was the best way to show you how dirty your machine gets is if you wait a month to do it. <laughs> Again, if you have some compressed air that's moisture free, you can blow out underneath it. You can use a paintbrush as well, like a thin paintbrush, but these little angled brushes seem to work pretty good. All right, we're looking much better. All right, I'm gonna take a little Q-tip here, get all those little dust balls. Okay, on your top, you may have a screw over here on the side to open and remove this, and that's usually where your light bulb is, unless I have my light bulbs under here. Um, but this is where you can see where your arm comes up and down. Uh, mine doesn't have a screw, it actually just hinges open. So that's awesome. Okay, now that we have this opened up, you can see where your arm comes down. You can see those moving parts. We're going to oil those and on our bar right here. Again, consult your manual. We don't want to void any warranties on your machine. We are doing the bare minimum of just getting those fuzz balls out and making sure it's in nice working condition. So we have it open up and we're gonna just dust out this. Ooh, mercy. I'm gonna actually put this down here because now I'm just putting it back down at the bottom. All right. Where's my Q-tip? You know, your machine is like your car. You gotta take care of it. So 
on this arm. It looks good. I don't have any thread caught up in there. Let's move it a couple times, make sure I don't see anything. Oh, there's some dust right there. Oh yeah. We need another one on that one. Oh mercy. My machine's going to be so happy. Okay. All right. Cleaned off. We're going to take our little spouter. And so again, moving parts. See where they're moving? Move a little bit all right up in there. Okay, and now, oh, I see a dust. Haha, I loosened them up. Oh, let's not go into my cloth. Okay, so we're gonna work that oil in those joints. Make sure we don't see any other fuzz balls while we're at it. Looking good. Again, your manual will tell you where these parts are. You don't have to guess. All right, another dust ball. All right, we're looking so pretty. Okay, let's clean that off. Go ahead and clean the top off while we're at it. shiny and new. Okay. I'm going to show you how to change your needle if you don't already know. Over on the right hand side of your needle bar, you're going to loosen that screw. Remember lefty loosey, righty tighty, just a little bit. You don't have to take the screw all the way off. Your needle is going to come down. Remember how that needle went in so you can put it back the same way. Most machines, it's flat to the back. So I have a flat side of the needle here that goes to the back of the machine. So we're going to throw that away. It has had a very good life. And now we're going to put another one in. Flat to the back. Push it all the way up. At the very front, you're actually going to see where that needle top goes. And there's usually a little ball. You'll see that it meets. Um, you need to make sure that the needle is pushed all the way up and tighten it, not too tight. And now we have a new needle. We're going to put our plate back on. So grab your plate, grab your screws, oh, just kidding, just kidding. Before you put your plate on, you need to make sure you put your bobbin case back in there. So we put him over to the side. Let's go ahead and clean him up. Ooh, dust bunnies, dust bunnies, dust bunnies. Again, you'll have a mark, a little triangle there, a little triangle here, and that is where they meet. Perfect, our triangles are meeting, so we know we have it in the right spot. Now, put your face plate back on. Line up your holes. Fine. 
Writing them down. on my hands. There we go. Okay, so our face plate is on. Let's go ahead and put our foot back on after I dust him out too. Ooh. See the dust flying off? This is a walking foot. It's typically what I keep on my machine. Our foot is on, put our bobbin back in, our bobbin cover, close it up, re-thread your machine. Bring our bobbin thread up. And now we're going to plug it in and test it on some scraps to make sure that if there's any oil left that we have it worked out of our machine because we do not want oil on our pretty cloth. Turn it on. Let it sing. Oh, thank you so much for cleaning me. And so. machine is all serviced and ready to go sew. Remember you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and our YouTube channel of course. Our web address is www.beyondfabricinc.com. We appreciate you joining us for a Make It Monday and if your machine was as dirty as mine please remember to like this video and we hope to see you on the next Make It Monday.